Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Edmond Mindaros and here with another quick tutorial. At sa video nito ay tutor ko on how to install Microsoft XPS Document Writer in Windows 11 or Windows 10. Basically, XPS Document Writer is the default print to file driver that enables user to create XPS files. And this is pre-installed on Windows 11 or Windows 10, but it's not a program where you can create XPS documents directly. Instead, you'll need to open a document you want to create an XPS file prop. Alright, so our next step, I need to now size start menu, so right-click na tayo. And then, kailangan mo lang select tong settings. Dito sa settings, ay kailangan lang natin select yung apps, so click mo lang yan. And then dito sa apps, ay kailangan lang natin iselect yung optional features. Click lang natin ito. And then dito sa optional features, makikita mo dito lang sa unahan yung add an optional features. And then dito lang sa right side, ay click mo lang to view features. Click lang natin yan. And then next, so add an optional features. So dito sa searching bar niya, ay kailangan lang natin isearch yung XPS. Alright, so ito ako agad. So nag-upper agad dito. So ang next ay kailangan mo lang i-click tong box na to. So click mo lang yan. And then click mo tong next. And then ang susunod ay click mo lang tong install. Alright, so click lang natin yan. And then wait natin to na ma-install. Alright, so makikita nyo dito na 100% na siya na completely installed yung XPS Viewer. Alright, so try natin i-search. So close lang natin yan. And then dito sa start menu, so click mo lang yan. And then dito sa searching bar, ay search lang natin yung XPS Viewer. Ayan, so nandito na siya. So click lang natin itong open. And then ito na siya. Alright, so pwede na natin gamitin itong XPS Viewer. So ganun lang po kasi simple mga kaibigan kung paano natin i-installed an XPS Viewer sa so Windows 11 or Windows 10. Alright, so please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more nail polish tutorials and tips. And if you have any questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment below. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.